This is Andrew Jacobs reporting from Guizhou, China. Last July, I began to follow the story of Li Shudong, a 25-year-old recent college graduate who was leaving his down-and-out hometown in northern China's Shanxi province and moving to Beijing to chase his dreams. With no job and $300 in his pocket, Li took a six-hour train ride to Beijing, one of millions of young people abandoning their hometowns in search of a better life. Frankly speaking, Shangxi is a pretty backwards place. Compared to Beijing, my hometown feels like it's stuck in the 50s or 60s. Sociologists have dubbed kids like Li the Ant Tribe. A relatively new demographic, they are the college educated kids of factory and farm workers who are migrating en masse to big cities in search of decent jobs. Li settled into life in one of Beijing's so-called ant colonies, a crowded neighborhood in which four people often share a room and dozens share a toilet. In August, after a month of looking, Li still had not found work. I went to the job fair, but it's not promising. Nothing suits me. It's not that the companies were too small, it's just that they don't use people appropriately. Because there are a lot of these small companies in China, I mean, I feel like going to one of them is like being cheap labor. I just, I don't feel good about it. And then by month three, Li found a job. As a salesman for an instant noodle company. He travels around town, restocking shelves and hanging posters. The work is exhausting, about 12 hours a day, six days a week. The pay is equivalent to what newly hired factory workers make, roughly $180 a month, although it's partly contingent on his meeting monthly sales quotas. Two of Lee's friends doing similar work found the pressure too much and quit to move back home. For now, Lee is staying and still chasing his dreams.